Number seven, Kantian fairness. Now this is a very interesting tendency here. Now Charlie says man expects fairness. Think of when you're on a one-way road with no lights or no signals. Generally what happens is the first person that gets there goes through and you give way to them. Then you go through while someone else gives way to you. You never have a situation where one person is staying there while everyone else is going and not giving them way. This is the Kantian fairness where everybody expects fairness. Generally people expect other people to show them some consideration because if the roles were reversed they would show them the other person some consideration. Now Ty Lopez gave a very good example of this Kantian fairness and how big companies use it. His example was about McDonald's. He talked about how McDonald's is a huge franchise and it's well known that their food is actually complete shit. That their food is not that good for you but yet it's still one of the most popular if not the most popular fast food restaurant in the world. He talked about how Ronald McDonald they have their foundation called the Ronald McDonald Foundation in which they give money to raise money for cancer to help kids in children hospitals. So they do a lot of good charity work in communities. This is a very big thing that McDonald's does. They help out the community and help out children. But on the other note, their food is still shit and there's still this food is still probably causing a lot of problems. But we, because of the Kantian fairness tendency, decide that McDonald's cannot be that bad after all. Since they're helping our children, since they're helping our people with cancer, they're doing a good thing in the community, we don't see a problem eating there. So that's part of the fan fairness thing. It's, a, it's like reciprocating what other people are doing for you. Think of someone's being extra nice to you. They give you a lift home after work when your car breaks down or something like that. Or they shout you something. They give they pay for your lunch meal. The next time around we feel more obliged to help them out because they helped us. We feel obliged to buy them a drink or give them a lift home. And generally we feel obliged to do a little bit more than what they did to us. I think Dale Carnegie talks about this in the, uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Generally if you do a good deed to someone they try to help you out. Well often, not everyone, but a lot of the time people try to help you out in a bigger way. Now this goes hand in hand with what good marketing is all about when you're trying to market your stuff. You don't want to spam people. You want to give value. You want to give more value than people could ever expect. Because when you give them value, you give them a lot of resources, good quality stuff. They feel obliged. They feel obliged to actually pay you back, whether it be by perhaps signing to your subscription lists or buying your product. People feel obliged to help you out the majority of the time. Even in today's modern day with pirating and whatnot, people still buy DVDs. Why? Because if there's a good artist that you like and that you support who's putting out good music, you feel obliged to support them so you will buy the iTunes album or the CD, the hardcover, despite the fact that you could always just illegally torrent it. It's because of this Kantian fairness tendency. So this is a very big part in humans. Make sure you take full advantage of the Kantian fairness tendency by putting that good stuff and also know when people might be using this to you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll go on to the next one. Eight.
right guys if you haven't already make sure you check out the new personal development global group on Facebook link is in the description heaps of good shit for ya this is pretty much the go-to place for all your personal development articles um, free content for everybody and just a whole community that we're building up there's no spam here also you can check out the link to my website the realized man right at this website and you can suss that out if you have something to post make sure you check it out and come on Anyway, have fun guys. Peace.